Hey everyone, this is Cardal. Today's topic is your RMA form doesn't work anymore. So AMD has a boot kit for people with 3000 and 5000 series processors and they would have a boot kit that you could order from AMD temporarily and then you would upgrade your BIOS with that processor and cooler and then ship it back and then that's how you would get around not having to have a compatible CPU or buy one or borrow one from a repair center or whatever. So, uh, but the links that are in all the forums and uh, knowledge base articles and stuff, they don't go to anywhere other than the sign-in page anymore. And that forum in its old, whatever state it was in, doesn't exist anymore. So they have a new way and I've gotten to a certain point, I can't actually submit the form or get to the point where I submit it because I don't have a motherboard that I can just fill out information. But uh, I'm assuming that the steps that I will show you will help you at least get started and then you just got to read instructions on the page. So uh, let's start off by going over some things that you're going to need. So this is the first thing that you're going to want. <clears throat> this is the information about how to get the serial number and part number for your processor. You're also going to need uh, your motherboard information. So um, hopefully you don't have it installed in your system where you can easily ac access it. But um, on the box, this is the left side, I'm going to show you the left side of the image on the screen here. On the box for the CPU, this is a 5950X, and the sticker goes across the top where it would open, right? And on the top part is the serial number, and on the back part above the, the barcode is the part number. And you need those two numbers in order to submit the request for the kit so they know what processor you have. And then when you submit the information for their motherboard, they know, you know, what kind of processor that they can send you. So let's go ahead and uh, continue on and show you the form and the way it looks now. All right. So the first thing you need to do is you need to register an AMD account. So create your account. And when you log in to their support page, you should be able to come to this AMD warranty uh, services page. And you'll have these four options for you. And you want to create a new claim in, this, in the middle here. And when you click this, it has a drop down now that you can choose a boot kit. And this is the old form. So it's going to have all the information that you need to fill out, uh, part number and serial number. Now, once you fill those in and you click next, you get this form. And this is where you uh, fill in a description of why you require the boot kit. And then say something like, uh, I don't have a s compatible processor and my motherboard does not have a BIOS flashback button or the ability to upgrade it without a processor, you know, something like that. Uh, manufacturer and make of the motherboard and the BIOS version. For the BIOS version, I would just go and pull like the, uh, the first version off of like the motherboard. So if you have a B550A Pro, which has a flash BIOS button, but whatever, if you, if you look up the BIOS downloads, go all the way to the bottom of the page, take that version and paste it in here and that'll be kind of you know a starting point anyways so yeah that would be a good way to uh to get through that so once I, i'm this is where as far as i can go because i don't have this information i'm assuming that you click next right down here and when you click that next button it will probably uh, just bring you to either more questions. Maybe it'll ask you for your address and stuff, your shipping options, etc. Um, I don't know what's after this, but uh, it should get you going and hopefully get you your kit so you can flash your BIOS and get going on your system build. So I hope that helped you guys, and we will check you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you later.